At SQL Saturday Silicon Valley, I was talking about uh, table partitioning and really how to implement it, why you'd want to implement it. Um, to, it's a technology that a lot of people aren't familiar with because it is an enterprise-only feature. Uh, so they really don't get exposed to it until they actually land at that big shop that, that really needs it. And even once they get into those larger shops, they may not necessarily really know when to apply it and when isn't a good time to apply it and what some of the best practices are around uh, implementing it. So they can, you know, and it's one of those things that it's used for really, really large data sets. So doing it wrong is really expensive because fixing it is even more expensive. Because uh, you're usually talking about moving hundreds of billions of rows, maybe trillions of rows. Um, and it, I mean, it just takes forever to move that amount of information. So having a good foundation to start on when you're doing your research is really important. So that's kind of what I covered in the session today. And kind of did some quick demos on how to actually do it, how to move data, so how to truncate data quickly in a, in a partition table and stuff like that. There's a lot of really good information on Google. Uh, that you can use to learn about table partitioning. Uh, one of the nice things about partitioning is because so many few people are using it, there's not a lot of bad information out there. There's a lot of videos available from PASS and from uh, vconference.com and various other websites that are going to give you a lot of really good information. Um, and of course, you can hit a lot of SQL Saturdays up where you find somebody talking about table partitioning in some way so you can get some good information from them as well.